I'd like to talk about what happens when a woman likes you but you don't like her back. In other words, I'd like to talk about that awkward situation. I don't know how you feel, but I've encountered a lot of situations in my life where I wasn't interested in a woman despite the fact that she liked me and wanted to get together with me. I don't know how you feel about that. I had women rubbing their chests and rear ends on me in an attempt to get my attention. They were acting like Venus fly traps, where the trap smells good and entices the fly to land on it, but as soon as the fly does, it springs into action and catches it. I believe that a lot of women will stick around a guy long enough to catch him because, for the most part, if they are talking to you, they are usually stuck with you, especially at work or school. This is why I believe that a lot of women will stay around a guy long enough to catch him. So that they can get your attention, they probably believe that if they spend enough time with you, you'd have to be a complete moron not to notice their interest in you after a certain amount of time has passed. I've been in situations where I could have been with 5 to 10 more women when I was in my teens and 20s, but I was too stupid to notice their interest in me even though they were right there almost sending up a flare. These situations occurred when I was in situations where I could have been with 5 to 10 more women. I went to a party, and while I was there, two girls who were making out at the opposite end of the couch made me laugh because I thought it was funny that they were trying so hard to get my attention from across the room. I was laughing because I thought it was funny that they were making out at the opposite end of the couch. My friends and I were having a conversation about food when one girl's friend decided to come over to the table and stand right next to me. The friend of the first girl turned around and saw me laughing, and she immediately stopped huffing. I'm not sure if anyone noticed her because they were all on their phones, despite the fact that she was a very pretty girl despite the fact that she had dark skin. I still vividly recall the emotions that overcame me when I first laid eyes on this photograph of Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. I realized that this must have been the expression on my face and the attitude I had when those women were interested in me but I was too busy doing other things in life to care about them or their advances. I thought to myself that this must have been the case. This set of photographs makes me laugh because, in the first one, the subject is confined to her time out and appears to be on the verge of intoxication. She had been with Jim for three years and had a child with him, and in their wedding picture you can see that horrible deer in the headlights look on the guy's face. I think she had just gotten married at the time, and I wonder what her new husband Jim thought of this picture. She was with Jim for three years, and in their wedding picture you can see that. I believe the first picture was taken shortly after she and Jim were married, the second picture was taken when she and Jim had their first child together, and the third picture is from roughly the same era as the first two. She had likely been drinking again when their marriage came to an end, and she subsequently with Sam Minns. She has stated that she is relieved that she and Leonardo DiCaprio never fell in love with each other. On the other hand, he only dates women who are 25 years old or younger and are models. I highly doubt that he would have gone for her because she is in her 40s and has three children with three different men. She also claims that filming Titanic was very laborious and took a total of seven months to complete. She also claims that during that time period, no one else had a crush on anyone else and that she gets up to use the restroom every two hours because that is the most she can stand. However, this was a very long time ago. And I don't remember the age difference might have been an issue, and if they wanted to be together, they would have found a way I don't know about you, but these pictures make me think that he's just ignoring her. I don't remember the age difference might have been an issue, and if they wanted to be together, they would have found a way to be together. I'm relieved that Leonardo DiCaprio is still following his own path because I can't help but think of all the women who would pretend to be happy for a while being mad that Kate got her hands on her Titanic co-star DiCaprio seemed to ignore her when she was in her early 20s. I'm glad that DiCaprio is still following his own path because I can't help but think of all those women. It is best to just smile politely and watch her face become more and more desperate while she looks at you like a single mother looks at her three children from three different fathers. A man has standards, while she is looking at him like a single mother looks at her three children from three different fathers. You are doing her a favor by saying this because she still has a glimmer of hope that you will say yes and that she will be able to look forward to seeing you at her show later on tonight. 
I say great see you then hey um I'll be around to see you later on she says almost jumping out of her seat are you coming no I'm not coming but I'll meet you later don't worry about it she says you coming I say no I'm not coming but I'll meet you later on she says almost jumping out of her seat are you coming today if you wanted to hang out says the guy who was in front of me and was turning around after completing his third lap yeah me too maybe we can do something later says another guy who has been doing laps for the past five minutes after they have gone I sit up and walk to the edge of the pool. Sorry about what to hang out, the guy in front of me says once more as he enters his speed. No, it's fine, and it's actually more comfortable this way, I say as I pull down my trunks as if they were nothing, and he responds, yeah, I don't want you to stay in there all day or anything like that. I'm going to say that he gets a towel from somewhere, climbs out of the pool, and then walks back into the locker room, but if you're anything like me, you already know that you're doing this on purpose to waste your time. Because every minute she spends with you is a minute she can't spend with someone else, you are performing a public service by ignoring her advances while still being polite. This is because every minute she spends with you is a minute she can't spend with someone else. You are preventing some other unfortunate schlub from entering. They're free for just a few moments longer those few moments might be all that he needs to become a red pill man none of them were courageous enough to just ask me out on a date, but a few of them did and I said yes. But those were the braver, more self-assured women who weren't afraid of the possibility of being rejected. The women who aren't afraid to ask men out are the ones who aren't afraid of being turned down. Because it's possible that they're still on the fence about where their heart is, if you're not on the fence, then you have no reason to ask someone out in the first place. Self-confidence is one of the most essential qualities a woman should possess. The majority of the time, I ignore the prettiest prima donnas until they lose interest and go somewhere else without saying anything. Hindsight is 2020, and if I knew then what I know, I would have ignored them even longer. Now that I know better, I would have cut more 24 double Ds I believe that a large number of women believe that men and women have the same mental capabilities. Although it is possible for a woman to give in to a man after playing hard to get for a period of time, it is much less likely for a man to do the same thing. However, this does not imply that there are no women in the world who believe that if a guy ignores them, he is demonstrating that he is the one with more sexual value and that when he does say yes to her, it will be an experience that is significantly more satisfying for her. Some guys who are simply not interested in a girl or who want to date multiple women fall into this category, and those guys are the ones who might be confident that they deserve the sexual attention of whoever they're with because they feel good about themselves. Other guys who do not fall into this category are the ones who are simply not interested in a girl or who want to date multiple women. If a man was obsessed with getting with a woman for a considerable amount of time, I've known women who would ignore his advances for months and months at a time just to see how obsessed he was with them. It was quite possible that he would become fixated on protecting them rather than quickly losing interest in the matter. I don't believe that they are the same because when I was in high school there was a girl who was obsessed with me for about a year. When I finally gave in and went out with her, she was cold and we quickly lost interest in each other. I don't believe that they are the same because when I was in high school there was a girl who was obsessed with me for about a year. I'm not sure how your high school years went, but in my experience, simply being in the company of a female companion is not the same thing as having a girlfriend. No, they are not the same, but they are distinct from one another, this is the key distinction between having a girlfriend and being in a relationship with a woman. There is no assurance that things will go as planned in your relationship, regardless of whether or not the two of you decide to remain together. Neither does it imply that this will be the case. You have a crush on a girl behind her back, or something along those lines, and he will pursue you while you ignore her, but as soon as she gets her hands on you, she will lose interest in you completely. She probably just wanted to prove to herself that she could attract that man in the first place. We all know that the worst feeling for a woman is when a man ignores her and doesn't care about her at all. She probably just wanted to prove to herself that she could attract that man. A woman means severing her connection to her narcissistic supply, it also means bringing about the destruction of her sense of self-worth and forcing her to question how high she ranks in the sexual marketplace. It's like a man is going through an existential crisis, and all a man has to do to get through it is smile and nod, and refuse to accept what amounts to an open invitation to stick his shrink swing into a silky creamy warm oven, 
However, this situation is entirely different. There's no question that the man they want to ignore them will, but there's also no question that the man they don't want to ignore them will if they tell them, I'm not a man and a woman. I can't say for sure, but I believe that a significant amount of the attention that women get in today's world comes from men who are in or with friend zones after all. I don't know for sure, but I think that this is the case. Women will experience an increase in irritability and anger if no one looks at them or pays attention to them, but at the same time, they are expected to work and take care of themselves, without the possibility of having children or receiving attention. Because it is a poor plan for the majority of men and because it makes life difficult for women, women are more likely to feel resentment toward the men who are ignoring them and to blame themselves for the current state of affairs than they are to blame the men for prioritizing their careers over getting married. I don't know of any Japanese women who get angry at men for not paying attention to them, which is a shame because Japanese men ignore Japanese women and refuse to have children. It's a shame that the Japanese government hasn't yet found a way to break the men's will. However, I am aware that the same phenomenon is taking place in this location, in which women are increasingly adopting feminist ideologies and becoming antagonistic toward men.